I remember back in the days of the, the Gingrich Revolution, it seems a long time ago, not that long ago, I remember there was this fascinating sort of pitting of the budget hawks against the Pentagon hawks. And these were often bedfellows, I mean, uh, out there in, on the, the sort of the more conservative wing of the political spectrum. But this, there was this tension between those who were adamant about cutting the budget and, and but those who said everything but the Pentagon. Is that a fair recollection? Is well, yeah, any it of was that today? because most of the people, and they wanted to cut things like welfare spending. I mean, that was what they, they were pushing for. The Republican Party back then basically said, well, government doesn't do much except for defense, so we no. got to provide no. for that. But it's changed, completely different now. When we came up with sequestration, uh, you know, we said, okay, you got a year, you put this super committee, this committee together to come up with a trillion dollars in cuts and, or tax increases. Everybody figured that the Republicans would never let sequestration hit the Pentagon because mm. they liked it. But this is a different Republican Party. Mm -hmm. It's going mm. back in many ways to the Republican Party of Robert Taft. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, who didn't never, want us Never mind Gingrich, back to Taft. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah I mean, uh, Newt Gingrich <clears throat> is still pretty much a, you know, a, defen a defense hawk. But you get people like Rand Paul, for yeah. example. Yeah. They don't want to see America play in the world. Mike Kaufman from Colorado, a former Marine, he said, well, you know, what do we want to save the world? Let's focus here at home. So what happened is they didn't care about sequestering hitting the Pentagon, and so that's why we have it for both the Pentagon and the other uh, mm -hmm. uh, agencies who have a, an annual discretionary budget.